So we've seen two types of function. We've seen the VBA built-in function, of which there are hundreds. And we've seen that you can access and use the Excel worksheet functions within your VBA code as well. The last type of function are your own functions, custom functions or user-defined functions. Wherever you want to refer to them as, they are your own. So how do you create your own function? Well, you need to be in the Visual Basic. You need a new module or an existing module if you already have one. And then we create our function by declaring the function, giving the function a name. So I'm going to call mine power2, open brackets. Does your function require any parameters to come into it? Yes, it does. It's going to receive a number as integer. Actually, let's make it double just in case. And then an extra as double. And then the result of your function needs to be returned. And we have to declare that data type as well. Well, that's going to be a double. And that's how you create the skeleton for your function. It's function, function name. Any parameters are in the brackets separated by commas. And then after the close bracket, we use as data type to say what type of data type will be returned back to the caller. So whoever's called it, a procedure somewhere will call this. And then we simply tell it that power2, in our case, is going to be equal to number to the power of extra. So it's a nice, simple, straightforward function. We can then call that function from a sub procedure. So sub func test. And in our little test here, we need to declare three numbers effectively. So I'm going to call it dim n1 as double, n2 as double, n3 as double. And n3 is going to be equal to power 2. So that's our function in which we're going to feed in n1 and n2. And then just for the moment, because we're doing it all the way through, is message box in our result. We'll message box n3. So the only thing missing here is my declaration of the values for n1 and n2. So let's say n1 equals 2 and n2 equals 3. So if I run my func test, I get 8. Because I'm taking 2 and 3 into my power function. That calls this function up here. 2 and 3 come in. 2 and 3 are then used. So it's 2 to the power of 3 returns 8. That then comes down and feeds into n3 which feeds into my message box. So I can change these numbers to anything I like. Let's go for a nine, two, so that's nine squared effectively. Return 81. Or I could pass in a two, and let's say, let's see what two is to the power of 256. Return, quite a large number, so it's changed it into scientific format. Got 77 zeros. That is a very big number. Let's change that down to 2 to the power of 12. It's 496. 2 to the power of 20. A million 48,576. The number of rows that you get in an Excel spreadsheet. So that's our own function. It's classed as a custom function or a user defined function. We declare them at the top of our modules so that they can be called from anywhere within that module. If you need to call them from anywhere within your workbook, then we need to put public in front of here. That's in case you've got more than one module and one of the other modules needs to call this function as well. And then you can call the function simply by using it in a procedure or very cleverly within an actual sheet. So if I were to put two numbers here, what about our two and 20 again? I can actually call my user defined function equals power two. Take that as your first value, that as your second value, return, and we get the same result. A million forty eight thousand five hundred seventy six. So you can call them in two places once you start creating your own functions, either from within the VBA or from within Excel.